Well, three years ago, Jeremiah Peprocki made history as the first African American to serve as public address announcer for the Chicago Cubs. He was also the youngest PA announcer at Wrigley Field at just 21 years old. What an incredible opportunity. As part of our Black History Month coverage, our Jackie Kostek sat down with Peprocki as he prepares for his next big move, hosting a late night show in Chicago. <laughs> It's been about three years since Chicago native Jeremiah Paprocki made history landing the coveted Cubs gig, all while still an undergraduate at the University of Illinois at Chicago. How has your life changed since you got that job with the Cubs? It's changed a lot. I'm like kind of this college student in the books, trying to get the degree, but also at games, just kind of building up my skills. And then all of a sudden, an entire fan base knows who I am, is like welcoming me in, trying to take pictures with me, signing autographs. It's been like a mind-blowing experience. You don't have to listen long to know Pap Rocky has the pipes for the PA. But what's next will have the spotlight shown directly on him. Sitting in the press box and being the Cubs PA announcer at Wrigley Field is definitely different than being on stage at a theater like the Studebaker Theater. Yeah, essentially the stage is my playground. So now it's my chance to basically like have a blank canvas. Yes. And like now when I'm up there, it's my show. And so me and my team have done a really great job of kind of envisioning what that would look like. Um, you know, we have a, a house fan, we have the desk and couch that is so synonymous with late night TV. Yes, right here at the Studebaker Theater. The fun begins March 24th with the first live taping of Late Nights in Chicago. So far, Pap Rocky has plans for five pilot episodes, which will be set in front of a live audience and streaming on YouTube. We want to make that episode Chicago. When you watch it, whether you're here at the Studebaker Theater or watching it from our YouTube channel, we want to make sure we get the Chicago message across. And no better guests to have than Sherman Dilla Thomas, and uh, Matt Muse. Pap Rocky's vision for late nights in Chicago is to showcase the city's artistic talent. Pap Rocky's talent will be on display too. And at just 24 years old, he says there are no yeah. nerves, just butterflies. Excitement about building something new in the city that built him. I'm here planning like the biggest thing in my career right now and like I'm only 24 and it's so like mind-boggling to wrap my head around it um, so yes it, it does feel like very weird in terms of like where I'm at in my career and like my age um, but I also don't let that stop me as well too I'm like it really doesn't matter you know race age you know I'm here I'm breathing I'm living like I'm here to give the have the best life experience possible and so I'm just trying to you know put things together uh, and then make them work as best as I can and hopefully share it with everyone else that I can and hopefully they enjoy what I'm uh, you know offering them as well too. Jeremiah is certainly living his best life. He actually dabbled in the late night format before hosting a show while he was at a, a student at UIC. You can find tickets for the first live episode of Late Nights in Chicago at fineartsbuilding.com slash events.